Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Going Medieval! This wonderful little uh, colony building simulator. Very nice, reminiscent of uh, RimWorld. It's a medieval kind of 3D, multi-level RimWorld. Like, the US interface uses the same sensibilities, but at a certain point it like, starts to diverge a fair bit, outside of be being the same genre of, it's a colony builder. Well, the colony builder is going to feel pretty similar in certain ways. All right, a little bit of construction here. Yeah, it's maybe a shame to lose these plants. I don't know how big of a deal it is, especially since we can plant our own. Maybe I should do that now, actually. Um, is flax, carrot, beet, red currant bushes. I mean, barley to make beer sounds pretty good, too. But, well, maybe, hold on. Maybe I'll just do that. Uh, cancel. We need barley and spices to make beer, but what was the other thing? Ale. Yeah, so we'll at least be able to make ale. So let me do that instead, if I can. Oh, there's herbs. Oh, grass and trees. Barley. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do this, and then we'll do a little spice bush or herb bush back here. Some of them might be medicinal and things like that as well. We'll go for it. Why do you exclamation mark? Not enough reserve. Oh yeah, we don't have any raw meat right now, so we can't, uh, or we don't have any corpses to butcher right now, which is okay. Construction still pretty bad. We don't have anyone who's like, well, okay, Isabella, the problem is Isabella's got like stars on everything. We can't have Isabella do all the things, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna have to accept the fact that our construction crew is gonna be a little, a little sketch, unfortunately. Almost certainly we have to go and cut down some more trees soon. We do have 200 plus logs currently, but we will use a fair number in here. Hammond's the only one who uses the uh, the Shrine of the Brethren. How's our research going? Yeah, see, the allocate went up because I think it means we can reach more things. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Nothing's, um, nothing's blocked over here. Just gonna permit everything. Drag, yep, that's fine. I like the double door here. Might be able to do some lighting inside. I don't think we've got anything for that right now. Well, no, we've got torches, braziers, and we have window for light during the day. I don't know how worthwhile it is to do this. And do they have to be replenished, I wonder, these wooden torches, or are they just always on? Oh, wall torch. Cool. Excellent. Standing one in a wall torch. Okay, I gotta make sure to check these variants from time to time. I mean, they're material, but they're also sometimes style differences. I like this build we're gonna build. It's gonna be very cool. Black, 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 black. How big are the stairs? Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a pair of stairs leading to different halves of the top building. Research is available now. It's decorative stuff though. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna want them inside, but no, we're gonna wait. How's the food situation? Eight meals, no raw food. Well, sucks to be you, Mr. Deer. Oh, maybe I should be like constantly hunting. There was a bunch of rabbits over there. Rabbits like to, like, they run away once you attack one. And it's not like they generate a lot of meat. There you go, we'll flag you guys. Auto save. Okay, thank you. Worker's gonna come soon, you guys. Production speed from being outside. Ah, yeah. Okay. But that's okay. We're we're working our way up to this building here. As I say, there should be yeah production speed 100%. It still says outside, but 100%. It's interesting. It acknowledges that it's out of doors, but. I don't think we get the penalty for it. Are we getting we're getting little pallets of ash next to this? I bet you we can do things with the ash. Rich in garden soils, pottery glazes, and soap. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you're out of material here, but we have liquor. Rough wine pile. I think we made ten. So we got nine left now. We're gonna get flax. Not that we have a clothing thing yet. I wonder, is there a rotation for the windows? No, I guess they're they're the same. Can I open these shutters? Oh yeah. Closed window keeps the warmth in. Best closed in the winter time. 
I wonder if there's a way to open and close. A oh, steward will change the state of the windows. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to tell a room, like open all the windows for a room, or close all the windows in the room, because I wouldn't want to do it all individually. I'm going to leave them untouched for now. Reserves are low. Are we not doing hunting? Alright, listen. Um, I'm going to bring the research down a notch for Hammond. We've got a few outstanding jobs. I mean, sure, we want to unlock more things. But actually, we've got enough stuff going on right now. We kind of just need him to... Yeah. So, Hammond and Jonathan are going to do hunting. Which is good, because we're down to four meals. Although, we do have a bunch of carrots over here. So, we would have some food stuff to make. I miss my um, my colony manager mod from RimWorld, where you can put like limits, like when the food um, amount gets you know below a certain point, go and hunt and various things. Well, actually, in practice, I have them auto hunt, but that's mostly because we have refrigerators. But we'll we'll be able to preserve some food if we get the smokehouse, and so then hunting willy nilly is going to be okay. Oh, there's some bones over here. If you lack the time to carve these mortal remains, you can at least grind them up for fertilizer. Hmm. Alright. That'll be a thing later. Are we out of wood? And we still have a hundred wood here. Lots of people praying, hunting, preparing food. So the culinary skill is used for butchery, which makes sense and is perfectly fine. Decomposing, ground type, temperature. It doesn't say anything about the lack of roof there, but maybe once they're on here, some of the things, that's when they say roof. Because maybe at first they decompose quickly because they're on the ground, and then once they're no longer on the ground, then they can decompose maybe slower if they're just unroofed. Yeah, almost certainly we're going to need to chop down some more trees to finish this. So I'll put a few tree chopping jobs right away. Because someone's got a, a star, I think, in plant cutting, so they should go and do that. Culinary skills of 14, that's nice. Construction skills still suck. That's weird. Oh, yeah, so there's a little visual bug over there. Oh dear, achievement unlocked. Um, because I was gonna say, I think I already had them, uh, grouped up, but I guess when it loaded, it remembered this is grouped up, but didn't, hadn't updated the UI. Tiny little visual bug. Ah! Game is ruined. Mm -hmm. Sort of thing, it's really easy to see how it happens. Also, would be very easy to fix. Alright, Isabella doing this. 11 meals, okay. So, I mean, we're not gonna starve, which is good. I wonder what else we can use these sticks for. So, some construction material. I'm betting a type of roof probably use, uses sticks. We're starting to get a lot of them. Maybe we should look into that. Because this was a thatch roof, which was made with straw or hay. Isabella, not super happy. Why not? Oh, no, you're okay. Maybe you had a, a negative moodlet and then they got fixed. You seem okay for now, which is good. Doing some plant stuff. All lovely. Research available, I know. I mean, we'll want some of that, but I think tailoring might be the next unlock for us. Or we start smelting, I don't know. We do have a few people who are complaining about bad clothes. And I don't know. Maybe better clothes, even like normal everyday apparel. Oh, hello, Summer. Um, I was going to say, maybe even everyday apparel has some armor value. We'd have to check. Summer appeared like a warm blessing, coaxing the settlers to shed their warm clothing. Now was the time to build underground storage, keep food fresh in the sunny days to come. Okay, that definitely is a thing. Now, is there a research I can see? There's preserving food, but that's just smoked meat and stuff. Better cooking more preserving but that's just package meal so presumably i can just dig a cellar i wonder if we can dig one inside the house maybe we don't need to okay so i've got a mine can i tell the stairs to just go down like i can rotate you i can go down z levels here And yeah, I say Z-level just because Z-level for some reason sounds weird. Probably because I'm used to hearing Z-level, even though I say Z. So, I think it's probably a mining operation to go down. 
Well, the thing is, we're going to mine the iron over here anyway. So, alright, let's... Let's mine, like, a four-tile length. We'll be able to put some stairs in there. I don't know that mining is a higher priority than some of the other things we've got going on, though. And actually, we got some resources without actually digging down. Maybe we should dig down over here, but... I wonder if we'd go faster. Because here they're extracting rock. If we're just digging somewhere that's just grassy and, you know, earthy, I wonder if it would be speedier. Hmm. Alright, cancel this. As an experiment. Right here. Yeah. Mining slash digging. Oh, we'll get clay out of this. I wonder if we can refill it in if I'm not happy about the hole that I left. I guess I can just floor over it. Okay, that did happen right away. Okay, maybe a settler, a cellar over here. We'll build that. We'll put a staircase down there. I wonder if just this with a roof on top, if that would be cool enough. Like, just dig out a piece, a uh, pit, and then, you know, put a floor on top of it. Um, 22 degrees, 22 degrees. So that's the same currently. Or if we have to actually be underground. Level 15 culinary. This is coming along well. What I'll do is I'll get the, the two stairs in place so I don't forget them. But then we're going to drop some wooden floor. Well, what else do we have for flooring? Wicker? Okay, so wood needs wood. Wicker needs sticks. And limestone. Sanded to make a floor a level floor. Wicker floor can be used as platform for a second floor. But I mean, anything can be used as a second floor, can't it? Now, I can't just scroll, but I can extend the floor off the... I bet you I can extend the floor off the stairs once they're there. Build the stairs first. So I'm just wondering, like, I can just wicker over here, too. Um, okay. So, the wooden floor has more hit points and has 100% traverse speed instead of 95%. So, I mean, the wooden floor is definitely better than the wicker floor. I'm just worried because raw wood is a bit of a thing. We'd be covering over, what is this as well, clay? Although, I think we can get clay somewhere else. And then these plants. But I think I've already accepted that this is going to get covered up. I guess we'll go wicker, just because material-wise... We're a little hurting for wood right now. Maybe we can replace it later on. Yeah, we're gonna ruin all these plants. This hurt my heart a little bit. But oh well. We're humans, we've gotta ruin nature one way or another, right? Exactly. Alright, stairs are going up. Wicker floor. This is going to be quick. Okay, now that the stairs are in place, what I'm curious about... Maybe I really do need to, like, support the floor from this. Or, um, I mean, maybe just uh, pillars? Okay, I can't block the top of the stairs. Oh. Okay, I think we will need some wooden beams. This is weird, you can play some really loosey-goosey here. Um... Do I just click? Four beams can be placed between 2x walls or ground. Oh!
What does this mean? Over eight. What? All right, hold on. Let me cancel some shit here. Okay, I can't connect to the windows. Here, let me do this, because it'll look decent. And symmetrical. I wonder if I needed some in the middle here, too. Which, if I do, is a problem, because I don't... I guess I could put a random, um... I could put a random piece of, um... Like a random wall, like a single pillar, over here. Achievement unlocked. Beam me up. All right. I need to re-give the command for the base wicker floor here. That it canceled. You can change the cancel filter to only affect a single layer, but I was like, meh. Let's just reset the whole thing and figure out the next step. I don't have any logs in storage, although we do have some wood just kicking around, so that's okay. You know, turns out logs grow on trees, so uh, killing these these plants it hurts. Well, well, it's okay. We'll replant some, but you know, the nat natural bushes just look cool. I don't know how I want to arrange the building, the like the workshops and stuff in here. We could have specialized stockpiles near the appropriate workshops to, um, um, you know, so that the resources are nearby. Although everything's going to be fairly close in here. So I don't think I'll worry too much. I wonder now that I've got the beams in, if it's a little easier to start the floor, because I can start them on the beams, and indeed that is the case. Alright, that's excellent. Okay, well, um, no, finish the floors first. Well, I guess I can set up the, uh, the stockpiles. What? He was found faint and bleeding by Citizen Nether. From the axe and shattered lumber, Jake had clearly experienced woodcutting mishap. Would you let him stay and heal? Slam the door shut, leave him outside, or welcome to the Nether. Is he actually going to join the settlement? I mean, we'll have to treat him. But sure. Welcome, Jake. Jake is unconscious. Okay, well... We may have to encourage someone to go and grab him ASAP. Put a few work stop chops in here, and we might trim back on a few of the others as well. And actually, over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct that uh, spot. So we let's say Hammond, who's actually oh there you go, you're already carrying a wounded person. Because yeah, I mean a bunch of people have the the ten to one, but he's he's the one with the stars. Let's get him to do some doctoring stuff. Now, this area will still count as unroofed for now. Ooh, yay, culinary skill. You know, with RimWorld, I'm used to people getting food poisoning from low cooking skills, so... Jake's been brought in there. Oh yeah, okay. Hang on, let me take another scooch of time here. What else can I build this out of? Uh, limestone and clay, all right, which we're not going to do. Put some stairs in here. Now, can I dig further down? Yep. We'll do that, and then we'll see if we can dig sideways. All right, construction is complete for now. Obviously, these things are going to have to get moved into a new stockpile. People are hungry. Jake's unconscious. It came with an axe. That's convenient. Oh, I guess there was still a little bit of flooring to do. All right. Constructing of the stairs, I guess. And then someone will go and dig that down. We're replanting. Yeah, giving people a moment to catch up on some of their own stuff would be okay. How's the research? Anything new unlocked? No. And yeah, we may have to do... We might want to have a designated hauler, or I might want to do the thing that has proven to be quite useful in RimWorld, and just, like, bring hauling way up for everyone. Because it really sucks when things are just lying around. It's actually quite bad.
I know, not enough beds. Actually, it's a problem now, um, because Jake doesn't have a proper bed, because we only have these. I guess I can go for now and put another hay sleeping spot over here. Here. We'll do that. It'll get rid of the not enough beds thing, even though it's kind of pointless, because Isabella doesn't sleep at the same time as everyone else. But at least it'll be available. These doors are quite slow. At least I can keep them open right now. Just a control click. Um, I, mean, I don't know. And someone has to... It's a steward job that changes it as well. Hmm. Well, then stewarding might be something... Like, this is sort of like flipping switches and things in RimWorld, where we kind of always have it as a number one. I think I'll bring the hauling back down here for a sec. Okay, I can keep you open. And someone will do that high priority. And then we move through a little faster. I guess I'll keep this one open as well. Be nice if it just next time someone walked through, they just left it in whatever state was set to, and you wouldn't need a steward thing. That would be more rimworldy. And we got spoiled with that. I guess we can keep uh, these doors open. But yeah, I think I need a. I'm gonna want something where I can open the windows in an entire room. Okay, that's jump to deconstruct copy. It doesn't have anything in the tooltip. There is no tooltip. Um, overlay of rooms detected. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah. So I did, I brought down the hauling, although a lot of hauling is happening right now because I don't have anything else assigned. Now over here, if I tell you to mine that, yeah, that'll work. Nope. The go away tooltip. I need to be able to see my button. What is it? N for mine. Alright, sure. Well, in theory, and this becomes this becomes our underground cellar over here. It's a little tricksy, but it works. I might want to cancel that, because then we have exactly three for another stair, and then we'll probably want a door to keep the pests out. So it'll be stair, 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 door, and then mine this out. I mean, so far it doesn't seem like we need a lot of stockpile of space for meals. Okay, wounds, research. Oh, okay, we got a few others. Um, yeah, I think tailoring I want. Or preserving food. Because we are getting some rot. But we don't need... We don't have clay or limestone necessarily to even build this the thing... the um, These houses, so maybe the brick making. I don't I'm going to go for tailoring first. And we will build that. Sewing station. Is that... Is that legal? No, there we go. And we don't have enough wood right now, but that's going to have to be okay. Well, we don't have enough wood to store... Well, we literally don't have enough wood. So, we need to chop down some more trees. I mean, we can make a growing zone for trees later as well, if it starts to feel like we're a bit short on them. In fact, we might want to do some of that right now. But I think there's enough for us to cut down now. We're not going to spend any time maintaining a tree farm. Extra beds are in place, which is fine. Isabella doing some cooking, which is good. 18 meals. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to bring this up to like 50 meals now. I feel like the cooked food might have a longer lifespan. Actually, it's not the king at all. Wait, is that the case? Oh no, there it is. Temperature, but only temperature.
Now this might not this might be a dumb position for this. Maybe I would have wanted it somewhere else. Maybe I would have wanted a basement in here. But I kind of didn't want to screw up the mining somewhere that was going to be vaguely important to me. I can probably throw a little bit of roofing on this too, actually. Alright, but everything's indoors, so other than decaying for temperature. Which is happening, although not that quickly. Pile decomposes, pile rots. So I guess decomposes when it falls apart, and then rots is when the food becomes no good for us. Okay. Tailoring station. We've got winter clothes, summer clothes, caps, straw hats, and dismantle items. Let's try to keep one set of summer clothes lying around. One cap lying around. Maybe we'll use straw hats instead. Because the cap uses the uh, the clothing fabric. But this just uses straw. So we'll try to have one spare suit set of each. Um, linen cloth pile. So presumably... Yeah, linen cloth works. Excellent. Okay. Cooking is happening. Trees are being chopped down. This place still isn't roofed yet. But that'll be maybe the next thing we do. Oh, oh wait, hold on. I bet you no one can reach this. Huh. Okay. I'll do those two. <gasps> Should have dug it in the opposite way around. Hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cancel, cancel. Cancel everything on both layers. That's gonna have to be okay. Um, what I'm going to do is put down a little wicker floor right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I got this. Okay, now what I'm going to do... Oh, no, it still won't work. I guess I do have to dig this spot out. Yeah. But only the one. Dig this one. Actually, it might not still work. We'll see. Ding, 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 ding. So then what I want you to do is mine this square, which theoretically you can see. Theoretically, you can walk down here, stand on this, stand on this, but you might not be able to because it's covered by more stuff. Oh, no, I think it's working. Okay, now mine this tile, and then we'll undo the floor, and I think we can put a staircase in here now. Diggy diggy hole. Construct. And now, if I put a wooden staircase, I gotta rotate it the correct way. my grass. Alright. So we'll have to at least mine that one. Jake. Oh, hold on, Jake. I just realized. You're... Well, no. That should do it. Now maybe I could have just dug a pit and then put, you know, flooring slash roof on it and that would have been okay. We don't know. Yo, Goo has turned 46 today. Hmm. Okay, some tending is happening. That's good. Twenty-four construction. That's very nice. And now mining can begin. A 
we're going to put, not a wall, a door here. And then dig out all this. Yeah, I don't like that there's some clay stuck under there, but oh well. I'm going to put explicit forbids on this, just to make sure no one is trying to get to it and then having, like, pathfinding problems. Dig that out, we'll throw some floor down there, and then make that our stockpile. And then, I guess what we have to do, since we can't set priorities, apparently, is I'm going to have to take food out of this, maybe food and carcasses out of this. You know, hopefully the carcasses get, you know, cut right away. Maybe it is good to have it here next to the butcher pot. I mean, I guess we could have moved the butchering thing. Ah, oh, this has been allocated as a spare room. But what it really is going to be is a sort of a, a pantry? A cellar? Yeah. Flimsy leather. So I guess that's the quality that it hit. And this probably gives you, like... It lowers the temperature you can be comfortable at by 4 degrees and raises it by 5 degrees, so it gives you a bigger window. You know, protects you a little bit against the sun and protects you against the cold. Alright, this is a cute little room, I gotta say. Dig faster. Go, go, go. Random clay. We'll be using that for bricks later on. Now, we haven't done any work towards research in a bit, because I've got uh, Hammond on different... Oh, no, he is actually... Wait, he's auto-equipping. Oh, probably some clothes. He... But he is doing some writing. Oh, he's got a hat on! What are the actual stats on the... Uh... Can I get info on the hat? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's just a slight temperature range thing. Except the sun and the rain. Plus, it looks cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just put a wicker floor down here. And then I'm going to make this a stockpile. I'm going to clear everything except for carcasses and food. I think the package meals maybe don't need to come down here. Right, let's just do that for now. Uh, and then over on these guys. I'm going to take away carcasses and food. Take away carcasses and food. So they can't be stored in here. So, hopefully, that'll be done right. How are we doing on food anyway? Okay, we got lots of meals, lots of raw food still. That's good. And yeah, at some point, everything will have to be brought downstairs. And then we are going to move... Copy you put you over here, and then destroy the original. We're going to copy you, put you over here, and then destroy the original. Hopefully it copies the jobs. It does not copy the jobs. Well, of course, why would it? Of each. Dropo. Let's make um let's make three of these. So theoretically we could equip all our people with range tools if we wanted to. I don't think I'll queue up anything at the weapons bench yet. Uh you are also slow. Move you there. Um, Hammond, I'm going to force you to finish your writing. There you go. And then I'm going to trash this. Sorry to wake you, Hammond, but I wanted to make sure you finished your writing before we trash this. So you didn't go like 99% production, go to waste. Construct. Research table missing, I know. Isabella, can I get you to prioritize construction over here? Already working on it. Well, thank you. Still only have the one type of research in here. 
until you have... I don't think we had anything that needed more than 30. Of this one type of thing. No, so far 30 seems to be the most that we need. Okay. Oh, Jake's doing the research. Food being stored... I did it... I think they might have, like, jumped from here to there as part of their pathing. Or maybe it was misinterpreting things just because of the way it was going. We're clearly storing food down here. What's the temperature down here? Five degrees! So, I mean, it's not frozen, but yeah, 27 days, 20 days. Beautiful. Consider the spare room. I wonder if there's, like... Maybe there's not an actual room type for a stockpile. Which I guess is fairly legit. It would be nice if, like, a room just has a stockpile in it. Just call it a stockpile. But I don't... You know, I don't think it's the sort of thing that your people respond to or treat the room differently based on it being a stockpile versus other stuff. And yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll keep, like, putting some of these production things, like, on squares that were a stockpile, but that's going to be okay. Doesn't seem to be, like, a local beauty kind of modifier from being in a room that's also a stockpile. Nothing like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is build on this upper floor over here. Yeah, so there's still, it's what I was worried about, where there's this kind of a blank spot over here. Although we could have a little bit of um, Cathedral City. It's interesting, actually, that it doesn't, it doesn't go here. Now, what if I do that? I guess it's got to, it's got to sit on some sort of support. You know, if I build flooring there, I wonder if I can put roof or wall on it. But there's still one little gap. So I think in the end, since I can't wooden beam this area, I would if that if I replace this with a single door. You know what? Maybe we'll just will. Let me do that before I end the episode. Right, the double door looked cool, but what will also look super cool, Jonathan, I'm gonna need you to prioritize this wooden wall here for me because I need to end this episode. What will also look cool, in my opinion, is a beam there so that we can have proper flooring that comes across here. And theoretically across a little bit of this. There you go. Just as long as it doesn't block the stairs, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. We'll get this floor, um, and then I'm going to make some, I don't know, fancier bedrooms up here, and then we'll be ready for decoration. We can also use it for more storage, more stockpile, which might be good. Like, we might just have a bunch of little bedrooms over here, and then another stockpile over here since our stockpile is fairly full. And then I want to put some nice decorations and more things over here in the center area. Make it feel nice and cheery. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode of Going Medieval. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.